What is going on gamers? Evertrex here and again I am bringing you unedited Guild Wars run. Now this is commentary after the fact because as I mentioned on my last Guild Wars video I don't want to commentate while I'm actually doing it because I actually do want to focus on getting this right the first time because with a minnow strategy you don't really get a second time and that's really the biggest drawback to a minotaur strategy now i do feel that the way that i do it is a pretty solid way to do it and it's really good because of the uh, the type of bases that are around now now blind space is very very hard to snipe but to minnow hit is absolutely very easy because he's got so many buildings in the outside and really all of these bases do like there are no more compact bases because what everybody thinks now is that because they have all six hero stone uh, stone skin eight that they can get sniped from the outside but then all that does is is just makes minotaur rating such an easy thing and keep in mind that like my dread drake my little nick they don't have the best talents they don't have war god or anything like that or even bulwark my Dread Drake has 8 Berserk. My uh, Lil Nick has 5 Stone Skin. Now, I do have some decent Crest sets for them. My Lil Nick has a 5 Wargat Crest set. Uh, and then my Dread Drake, I just put a Revive on him. Because he's not there to really do damage per se. He's just there to clear out the troops and some buildings to start off. Because a lot of times what they do is they have uh, troops in there to kind of uh, kind of make Minnow... A little harder but if you do it the way that I'm doing it now which is use Dread Drake to clean up the troops and some buildings and then just go in with a really a hard minnow bomb it's over for them my minnow is 8 war god and it is 5 bulwark crest set so that gives me an edge but if you have anything similar to that I think it can still uh, definitely work now in just uh, in just about two minutes we've already gone over two bases and that's with bases with troops to quote unquote counter minnow. So again you see all these troops in there. That's the the only thing that would worry me here would be if they have like just a lot of troops that I don't clear. But then the beautiful thing is is that I have Dread Drake with Phoenix, which will help clear out a lot of troops if Dread Drake is not able to clear them out. Now Usually the goal with Dreddrick is to have him die around the 20 to 30% range so long as I have enough buildings in the outside to get two pumpkin duke procs off and then a minnow bomb um, with a you know with a cupid buff uh, but sometimes I might go over that but if there is still enough buildings in the outside even if I go over that percentage with Dread Drake, it'll still be safe so long as I know that you know my minotaur is going to proc. Now in this one, take a look at all the buildings that are still outside with no troops in there. So there goes one Pumpkin Duke proc. I wait for Pumpkin Duke to be ready for a second. There we go. Second, and then I do Cupid, and then it's over. Plain and simple. All your Stone Skin's talents are completely useless. That, that's, really, that's really all it takes. A lot of people are doing these bases because of the Stone Skin, and uh, this is a type of game where you have to adapt. You have to adapt to what they're doing. So again, F-Type, guess what? It's literally the same base. <laughs> so we're going to do the same strategy. Go ahead and put Dread Drake out there. Now, I initially wanted Dread Drake to go to the top and leave that building there. But he went down to take it, take it out, which is kind of annoying. But something you can definitely work around. Now, keep in mind, the troops are already gone. So I don't have to worry about the troops. I'm just waiting at this point uh, at this point for Dread Drake to die. And right now he's just softening up the inside buildings, which is even better for me. Now again, look at all these buildings that are in the outside, especially a town hall. A town hall in the outside is like the ultimate Minomi please sign. Like you just don't do that. 96%. And the only thing that we have is just that tower. Look what I'm doing here, okay? I know that I have the victory because I have Lil Nick and Lil Nick has Balloon on him. So it's a 100% victory. But I did not drop him early just in case there's any sort of surprise like a Ares Totem or anything. And now I send him after all the procs were off and everything. Just, just to be a little extra cautious there just because I don't want to jump the gun. You only get one chance at this. And if you already know that you have the victory, if there's only one building with like no HP left, 
there's no reason to to rush your drop now this last one um, was one that I initially was not going to let it go the first try and I'll and I'll show you why again same strategy it's the same base really so I mean the same base same strategy you go in with Dread Drake and Phoenix clear out the troops I believe he had a little bit extra troops because he had a, a lot of guardians but it's fine because Dread Drake will clean them up Dread Drake is pretty good at targeting troops first over buildings so there they go there there goes all the uh, all the troops but the way that he had his tower set up was in a way that it does not take out my dread drake really fast like my dread drake is still doing a lot of damage already a 15 percent and he has a revive so at this point i'm thinking okay he's kind of taking out a little too many buildings and if he doesn't leave enough buildings in the outside to get two pumpkin duke procs i might just have to leave this so right here i'm taking a look on the bottom like okay how many buildings are left look at this we're at 34 percent and that's the only buildings that I have to work with. But I started to think here, okay, if I put Pumpkin Duke on the top right and Minnow on the bottom there, that should give him plenty of energy. So there goes one Pumpkin Duke proc. Here comes two. And boom, Cupid over. So I made sure that I had enough buildings to be able to pull that off. So that's one of the things that you have to look uh, look out for if your Dread Drake doesn't die soon enough and there's not enough buildings in the outside do not commit to it fortunately for me there was plenty of just enough buildings to get that to work so that worked out here it goes i'm going to show you everything that i have as far as the talents the artifact everything so you can see exactly what i'm working with maybe you want to replicate it but what i would suggest to you is before you try to replicate this practice 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 we talking about practice practice. Thank you guys for watching and until later. Bye.